Hello, Sherry. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Miss Sherry. It's Sherry. Hi, Eleanor. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Sherry. Who are we morning. missing? I know we do not have Stefan today. And I keep trying to admit Jonathan, but it's not letting yeah, did that get him in? Just keep hitting the keyboard. Good <laughs> 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 again. Hey. Hey. There he is. Okay, awesome. All right. I know we don't have Stefan today, but other than that, I see one, two, three. Royce, we can't see you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sam's back. There's Jonathan. I see Jonathan. Royce, can you do something where we can see you better? There you go. There you go. All right. Let's start with our good mornings, Andrew. Good morning. Good morning, Andrew. 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 And Sue. Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Good morning. Hey, hey, good morning. Good morning, good morning Sue. Looks like you're still on vacation. <laughs> Never go well for this one day. <laughs> Jordan? Jordan? Are you frozen? Can't hear you. What's that? Oh, Jordan. Okay, we'll come back. John? Good morning, everybody. Hi. Hi, John. Good morning, John. 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 Tyler, you look bright and shiny today. What's up? I don't know what's going on with that hairdo. <laughs> Tyler. Good morning. Good morning, Tyler. Good morning, Tyler. We're good. Clad. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Devin. Are you frozen, Devin? We're freezing this morning. What the heck? Jordan, are you back with us? Jordan? Oh, what's going on? Okay, Nathan. Okay, here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 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 And then we come to Yvonne. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Whoop, whoop. Good morning. Good morning, Yvonne. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good Eleanor. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Eleanor. Good morning, Eleanor. Good morning, Eleanor. Good morning, Eleanor. Good morning, everybody. Ooh, that sounded good. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Sam. Jonathan, you're up. Got to unmute. Got to unmute. There you go. Go ahead, Jonathan. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning Jonathan. Good morning, Jonathan. And then we come to Sir Royce Miller. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning Royce. Good morning, Royce. Okay, did we lose Jordan? Looks like we lost her all yeah. together. Oh, and sure. and Devin. <coughs> oh, Devin. I can't hear him. Unplug, replug. Unplug, replug, Devin. I don't yeah, see him anywhere. I see, he's right I see him. Too. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Devin, say something real quick. Morning, everyone. There you go. Morning. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning Devin. All right, we'll wait for Jordan to come back in. How is everyone today? I'm good. Pretty good. good. Pretty good. Got the TV test done, so. Good for you. That's to talk about. Let's see if Jordan comes back live or not. 
It is on mute. I see her. And by the way, Sherry, um, I'm going to have oh, to go back is. tomorrow, so. Yes, I know. Whenever you do a TV, you have to go back the, not the next day, but the day after that. So, everyone, it is time to start working on getting that TV test. Okay. Um, I spoke with Justia yesterday at the hospital. And we are getting closer to getting back in our classroom, um, but we need to do the employee health stuff first, which means you all need to have your TB test. And so far I know that Andrew has done that. Is anyone else to have their TB test yet? If you could raise your hand. TB test? Mm -hmm. You have to have a TB test. Um, what's that? You may want to explain it. Probably Royce and Tyler and Jordan, you're probably all good because you did it last year. I don't think you're going to Tuberculosis. Test, that is. You know, shots. I didn't see a hand, Andrew, and I was talking. I read. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to find out if we can get them through the school district because we used to do that at the main, um, what do you call it, the main office on Garfield, but not Lower Rough, right? It's by, it's on Garfield, close to, close to DMV. Can't think of the exact that name. Go ahead, Andrew. Thank you for raising your hand. It's over on Walnut. Walnut Avenue. Avenue, excuse me. No, it's on Garfield. Is it Garfield and Walnut? I don't know. I'll find out. <laughs> they run parallel. They run, yeah, so it's, it's on Garfield. I just can't remember the exact cross street. Oh, yeah. It's straight up from Laurel Rough when you hit it, so it's not on Walnut. Yeah. So anyway, you can do it at your own doctor's, or I can see if you can do it through Sam Juan. I don't have to get a hold of your parents about this, but this was something that we required way in the beginning. And you did, Sam, you said you did yours and gave it to me? Sam? Yes. Okay, good. So, <clears throat> two of you, I just have to find things because it's been a while. I don't know if things are here or at Kaiser, but I'm probably going to go over to Kaiser today and start looking around, see how things are going. It'll be at least a month. It'd be between one and two months, though. And... It, although it's against all project search, um, our class, our students talked a little yesterday that we could probably have a school bus take you. It's hard for me to say. <laughs> I know we have to stay safe. Go ahead, Jordan. The, the TB test, is that the blood test that we took? It's, uh, it's a little, it's a little, it's like a little shot you get like right here, or right here, I think. Right. right? Right, John? Yeah. yeah, it was right here. Right here. And then yeah. you have to go back two days later and have them read it. Yeah. Well, it's actually, I had mine on my <clears throat> forearm right here. Yeah, right. <clears throat> yeah. If you do yeah. You take it, never take it on a Friday. Hold on, Andrew. Never take it on a Friday because you have to go back two late, days later and have it read, and their places are not open on Sundays. That's oh. What I can tell you about that. Go ahead, Andrew. Project. Do you mind if I let my mom know about it real quick? You've already done it. I have all to um I just wanted to let her know what how many days it, it'll take to get you know go back. You I know. think it's common knowledge. She, she knows about it. You okay. know, that's why you're going tomorrow. Okay? Yeah. Because you had it yesterday, so you had to wait a day and then you get it ready the next day. Okay. So she knows all about it. Okay, so did y'all get the assignment I sent out today? Yep. Mm -hmm. I got it. Oh, I got it. So mm -hmm. you're going to do this today. You're not going to have me a whole lot today. You're going to do this in class teams. Okay. I was thinking, what do you think? 10 or 15 minutes per question? Anybody have a vote on that? Um, 15. So we can do 15 minutes per question, and then you can all come back and talk about it. I'm going to make John co-host. And then for our second yeah. hour, <laughs> for our second hour, you, okay, Andrew, you just can't help yourself, can you? Thank you. <laughs> 
I want to hear from all of you, but I want to I want to see a hand first, okay? I do like hearing your your comments just in the appropriate way. All right, so you're going to do that and then you're going to come back together and you're going to talk about What are you all talking about today? What'd you choose for your subject? What? Uh, really? Hmm. Not one of you remember what you chose last week to talk about today. Sports. Thank you, Roy. Woo, that's no. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you all have a sport in mind since I'm just getting blank stares all over the place. Oh, definitely. I've got sports in mind. <clears throat> Good. Uh, la, la, la. What else do we need to talk about? What are you doing, Nathan? You're frozen in a peculiar way. <laughs> oh, maybe you weren't frozen. You were just playing frozen, I see. Okay, so does that sound like a game plan? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> right now, I'm going to make John co-host. Now, do I need to make you host if I'm going to leave this? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to make John host, and then we get out. Oh, if I change host right now, am I out of here? No, you'll just become, you'll be just a participant. Okay, maybe I should put everyone in groups first before I make you host? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Jordan, did you not get any sleep last night? Yeah. Look at that, girl. So what time are we going to be back in? Okay, so if you're doing 15 minutes per and you have three questions. Or 45 minutes. Okay. You should be back in at 10 o'clock. <laughs> okay. And then if you'd like, everyone can take a 10-minute break until 10.10. 10, and then that gives you an hour or so to talk sports. All right? Okay. So there, just do a good job today and I'll give you points. So you do not have a journal prompt to do for homework today. I don't want to, I'm kind of waiting to start new things because we kind of have two big assignments going right now. And I want to make sure that you're getting those done. Um, Jordan, did you look at the notes that I left on yours? Well, John, she's frozen, but I put notes on. I, oh, on the document? Yes. It's okay. Suggestions, okay? I think I saw in blue. Yeah. It's yeah. usually the color I've been choosing lately. <laughs> no worries. Everyone okay? Mm hmm. All right. So, yeah. How many we have then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hi, Tony. Give me just a couple minutes, okay? Just a couple minutes, all right? We have 10, so we're going to have two groups of three and one of four. All right, so you ready for me to break y'all out? And then, John, I'll, I'll make you coast right up, make you host right after that. Okay. Okay. All right. Take me a minute. I can coast too if you want. <laughs> Sorry. Please do. Yes, Andrew. Do you mean break us out of, um, you know, <laughs> the prison with you <laughs> i'm not well i feel like we're in prison sometimes in <laughs> little boxes <laughs> ah, but but we're not i'll see jonathan thought that was funny <laughs> all right let's see here we got a bond and we're gonna go who haven't you worked with anyone? what's that Anyone you haven't worked with lately in small groups? Um, Clad. Okay. Um, let's see. Who didn't I have? Jordan, Royce. Well, I need to keep this Jordan and John's group. Oh. Uh, Devin popped in there yesterday. I had... Eleanor, I had Eleanor and Jonathan yesterday, and I had Nathan, and I don't remember who, oh, Tyler, yesterday, and Andrew. All righty. So I haven't worked with Stefan or Clad for a while. 
Stefan's not here today. Oh, well, that's right. That's right. All right. So, so I signed that. Now I'm in Sue. Sue, anyone you haven't worked with lately? Um, I don't think I've talked to Tyler in a while. Okay. That's true. <laughs> true that. <laughs> okay. That Let's see here. Ooh, 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 sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Done. We have time today. <laughs> all right. I'm going to put there and I'm going to give you four today. Okay. Now it should be easy for this last room. Okay, I'm opening all rooms and we're only one minute late, so we're good. Y'all come back like at 10 o'clock. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Hello, hey. Sue. Hi, everybody. Let's Hi. wait for Devin to get on here. Yeah, no, it was funny. So I was sitting there and I was like, wait, what are we doing for a discussion again? Like, I totally forgot. Yeah, I think everybody did. I didn't remember either. Did anybody remember other than Royce? <laughs> I forgot too. I, I'm just not really into sports. Yeah, me, like, it's crazy because I'm actually into, like, four or five because I'm into, um, there's two uh, series of soccer. There's the Premier League and then, well, actually, there's three because one's the World Cup, but it's, like, it's, like, every once in a while. But, like, there's the two main ones, which is the MLS and the Premier League. So. Did everybody get a chance to read the assignment? I put it up on my screen. It looks so, I don't know. It looks um, like a bunch of gibberish you know, on my screen. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't have words. Is that what you're saying? No, it does, but it, but it's like tiny on my screen. Oh, okay. I was well, going to have, let me, I don't know if I can make it bigger. Okay. Let's see if I can do something about it. Oh, there you go. I can see it better now. Okay. We're good. Oh, you can yeah. What if I, okay. So let's have somebody read it. Devin, would you mind reading number one for us? Yeah. Your supervisor asked you to make a sales flyer. Devin, are you okay? We can't, I, I'm not hearing you. Sorry, Sue. Okay, just wondering if you're still there. Go yeah. ahead. Okay. She gave you the job yesterday and said you needed to mail the flyers by 4 o'clock p.m. to You knew that you could easily get the job done in two hours, so you started at 1 30 p.m. today it is now three o'clock p.m. and you are almost finished however a coworker looked at the letter and noticed an error which do you do okay, okay. so Anybody have any suggestions what the first thing you should do? Your, what, all right, first, what's your initial reaction? Let's start with that one. Go ahead, Nathan. So um, the supervisor asks you to make sale flyers, right? Mm-hmm. But the thing, um, oh, what was I going to... Uh, I hate it when this happens. Um, so, uh, 
you have to get them done in two hours. But, uh, well, I'm drawing a blank right now. It's bad. That's okay. It happens to the best of us. Um, what, so what would your initial reaction be if you had these flyers almost done and then all of a sudden you realize that there's a mistake made and you have only an hour to get them out? What's your initial reaction? Anybody? Panic. <laughs> yeah, panic for sure. Because how are you going to get a two-hour job done in an hour, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, it'll be kind of hard to because I'm like, because you're like panicking and then you only have an hour, which makes it worse because you're panicking instead of keeping a nice, calm brain, which helps you focus. But you can't do that when you're panicking. Exactly. Totally right. So, so then what's your second thought? Uh, you could try asking for an extension or seeing if there's a way that you could, um, extend the time a little bit so then that way you can do a good job that's a good idea what else could you do let your boss know that's very good yeah you can let your boss know just in case things don't go smoothly they have a heads up and then all of a sudden you're not throwing it on them at the last moment very good maybe you could ask for a co-worker's help to help you with the job to get it done quicker yeah okay does anybody's taking notes on this so you know what to talk about when we go back into class i am Awesome. Do we have anybody that wants to be a timekeeper to keep us on track? So we have until 930 to finish this question. Uh, I could give it a whirl. <laughs> okay. So 930, we need to be done with this question. Okay. Um, it, it's currently 922. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you both of you for stepping up. Appreciate that. Um, Is there anything anything else that we could do? It says what should you do? So contact your supervisor, ask a worker, a coworker for help, ask for an extension, and then get busy working, huh? Because you don't have much time. Especially if you have an extension, they will probably give you an extension, but they might only give you like a half hour to an hour, and that's it. True. They probably won't give you the whole time again. Yeah. So you gotta got so you gotta get cracking. <laughs> <laughs> get cracking. True. Well, how many questions do we have? Three. For some reason I thought I heard thirty, but I think it was only three. <laughs> yeah, just three questions. Well we can move on to the second one if you guys don't have any more for the first. All right. Okay, who would like to read number two? I guess I could. Okay, thank you, Nathan. <clears throat> a coworker helped a customer on the phone by answering many important questions. This customer was very grateful and promised to do more business with your company. Your supervisor thought you gave the customer the advice, praised your work, and said that a promotion may be in your future. You have have been working towards the this promotion promotion for two weeks uh, for two years, not weeks. <laughs> Whoops. Um, what should you do? So Jonathan, so your boss is giving you an opportunity for something that you really wanted. Is there anything that you should say to your boss? Mm. 
your boss is giving you a gift pretty much what should you say to your boss Jonathan when somebody does something nice for you or gives you something what do you say to them What's the polite thing to say? Jonathan, can we hear you at all? Say something so at least we can know your microphone's working. I know. Okay. So what can we tell our boss? When she gave us, when they gave us this opportunity, what do you say when somebody gives you something? Let Devin help you out here. Okay, Devin, what? When your boss give you something nice, you should say thank you. Very good. Yeah. So that's the first thing you should probably do, right? Is thank them for the opportunity. Good job, Devin. Thank you. You're welcome. So what's your initial reaction when you find out this news? Uh, happy? <laughs> yes, I would be happy about it, definitely. Um, grateful? True, happy and grateful. Tyler, what are you looking at when you look up? It's my second monitor. Of course. I thought it was something like that. But it's actually a TV. Oh. And you I'm assuming that you wired that up yourself. Yeah. Of course. Good job. <laughs> so grateful, happy. I'm feeling maybe accomplished that you've been working towards this for two years and now your boss is offering this to you because you've done such a great job. Uh, oh, man. Um, what is it? Uh, I was about to say something, but I totally forgot what it was. Um, One of those days for you, huh, Nathan? Yeah, no, because uh, it's bad for the past couple of days. Uh, my brain or my um, my emo not necessarily my motive, but like my usual self isn't necessarily there. And I'm tired, but like it's also because recently I lost my uh, uncle on Sunday. Mm, sorry to hear that. Yeah, which is odd because that was also the day of my sister's wedding that he passed away. He passed away at 3.55 a.m. on my sister's wedding day, mm. which was last, either last Sunday or the Sunday before. I think it's last Sunday. Yeah, it was last Sunday. So. Okay, so what would your second thoughts be? After you found out you may be getting this promotion and you're excited and grateful, what's your next thought? What are you thinking next? Oh my gosh, I get to help others. Yeah. I, If it was me, I would think in promotion, I'm already, already starting to think more money, right? So I'm thinking more money in my bank account is going to be nice. Maybe I could buy something I wanted or have been wanting that haven't been able to afford. Tyler, you have anything for this? I know you're typing and taking notes. Appreciate that. Um. sure what to say so your second thoughts okay so very hopeful
Jonathan, do you have any input on this? Jonathan, can you think of anything to add? Uh, no. Okay, thanks for answering. Appreciate that. Good job. Devin, can you think of anything? What your second thoughts would be if you had the opportunity to get a new job? Is there anybody that you might want to tell about it? Jonathan, who do you live with? What? Uh, do you think you would want to tell the people you live uh, you live with about your promotion? Come on, Jonathan, that's an easy question. What do you think? Would you want to share your good news with somebody? Uh, yes. Who would you want to share? Who would you want to tell? Would you want to tell mom and dad about your promotion? Yes. Yeah. So who would you want to tell, Jonathan? Uh, yes. Who would you want to tell? I heard you say yes, but I didn't hear what Nathan said. I asked him if he would want to tell his mom and dad about his promotion. So who would you want to tell, Jonathan? Um. Right there. Very good. Awesome. Good job. Thank you, Nathan. You're welcome, Ms. Uh, Sue. Mm. How much time we got, Nathan? Um, it is currently 932. Wow. Okay. <laughs> We have a lot of time, don't we? Yeah, it feels like, or at least in my opinion anyway, it feels like time's going super slow. <laughs> yeah. There isn't, I don't think there's a whole lot to talk about on these. I think we got too much time given to us this time. <sighs> Tyler, you want to read the third one? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Your supervisor asked you to work overtime this weekend. You have worked overtime for the past two weekends, and there are several other employees who have not worked any overtime. You really just want to hang out with your friends this weekend. What should you do? Um, well, <laughs> that is kind of hard, but um, you probably, not necessarily you would mention hanging out with your friends, but um, you probably would uh, respectfully talk to your boss and say or uh, mention that uh, there are not necessarily other employees, but maybe somebody else would like to cover or work overtime kind of thing. You know, give other people a chance to. Right. Uh, and then that's very good to be honest and open with your supervisor. Because what might happen if... Um, you start getting resentful, you know, because you wanted to hang out with your friends and you're having to work so much overtime. How's your performance going to be at work after a while? Is it going to be good or bad? It's going to be bad because you're like overwhelmed, like overwhelmed and like stressed because you've been working <laughs> overtime the entire weekend and then you got to go back to work on Monday. Yeah, and you never get a chance to do what you really want to do. With everybody needs balance in their life, right? Right, or like be able to take a breather because instead of having to work, you have to uh, waking up at like five a.m. every morning to go 
go to work and then work overtime and then have that routine over and over and over again and not have a break to chill, relax, you know, take a day off, you know, like a mental vacation. Yeah. Devin, how would how would you react if you found this out that the boss wanted you to work more overtime? How would you feel about that? Yes. Would you be okay with that? Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Not all the time, right? That's right. Yeah, me too. I feel the same way. Any second thoughts on that? How can we think of something good that might come out of working more overtime? Um, you can ha get more uh, time, which equals more money. Mm, that's true. Work equals pay. Very good. That's what I was thinking. Jonathan? Is more money a good thing? Yeah. Yeah, you'd like to have more money, wouldn't you? I know I would. Okay. I don't want to make you guys strain too much on this. I don't think there's anything left. Does anybody have anything that they want to add? Um, it shows your boss that you're a better worker if you work overtime oh very good Tyler I didn't think of that but yes your boss is gonna think more highly of you good job yeah um, it's not necessarily part of the subject but um my uniform smells like coffee now because I actually just dumped coffee on myself <laughs> Oh Whoops. no, make sure, make sure that you rinse it out so it doesn't stain. Okay, I will. I will. Um, it was mostly on my pants, which are black, but okay. we should be okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan thinks that's funny. Okay, well, if we don't have anything else to add to this, we can do open discussion and talk about anything you guys want to. Because we got to be back in class at what ten o'clock? Uh, so yes, have a and little bit. Right, and it's only nine thirty-eight. I guess we could throw ideas at each other for what to talk about for sports. That's a good call. Uh, yeah. Uh, wait. Yeah. Jonathan, do you like sports? Yeah. Which sport do you like? Uh, Do you like soccer, soccer Jonathan? Yeah. <laughs> you like football? Uh, no. No? Baseball? No. no? What other sports besides soccer do you like? Can you think of one? Only soccer. Soccer. Do you have a favorite team? Uh, I don't know of any soccer teams, so I can't help you out with that one. Uh, I could, but the thing, well, <laughs> I could, but the thing is that there's a, like, there's at least, uh, two main, um, Soccer leagues, but um, actually, I think one might be in the MLS. Yeah, I'm trying to think right now. Jonathan, do you like Mexico? They call it football there. That's true, yes. And in South America and uh, Europe. Yeah, I'm just weak on ideas. I don't know. Right. Yeah, I mean it is true that uh, in uh, Mexico and like in uh, Spain and stuff, they call it football in the Europe. 
area. We mm -hmm. only call it soccer because there's also the American football, which technically, funny story, you don't even use your feet. You use hands, but. Right. How ironic is that? I hadn't thought about that before. I mean, you do have a kicker, but. I don't know. So maybe that's why they call it football instead of feet ball, because you only use one foot. Right. Just kidding. Silly I'm joke. I mean, it's possible because there's also a similar uh, sport called rugby that I'm into. Dude, rugby is one tough sport, dude. Like, it was crazy. Like, um, my one of my teams, it, there's a couple of um, different leagues, but there's the, um, I can't remember what it's called, but my favorite team's the New Zealand All Blacks. And there's this guy that got his tooth stuck in the person's head because there's rules, but there's almost no rules. So like you can act, it's crazy, dude. It's like one of those, it's like one of the roughest sports ever Saying aside hockey. Like the game doesn't stop, it just keeps going. One of the rules is that you have to pass the ball. But other than that, you can pick the ball up, you can keep rolling and you can like tackle people. Oh my goodness, that, that sport is just so rough. <laughs> And there's no protective gear, right? No. It's like 280 pounds, six, uh, six foot guys uh, running at each other, just mashing into each other. It's crazy. Like, there's this guy that got a tooth stuck in his head from somebody else. Ow, that is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I went to a live game in San Francisco one time. Those guys are pretty gnarly. Yeah, uh, they're just like, Ugh. And not only that, it always seems like the field is so muddy. It is, yeah, no, it's it's a fun sport, but it's also it can be really brutal. You definitely can get a concussion from that sport if you're not careful. But what about you, uh, Devin? I haven't heard anything from you. What sports do you like? I like golf. You like golf? Now you're talking my language. Oh, Miss Sue, do you like golf? Yeah. Devin, do you play golf or just watch it? Um, play golf. You play golf? Oh. Okay, what what courses have you played or do you like to play? Um like putt. What was that? I believe he said putt, but I could be wrong. Yeah. You like to putt? That's your, you go to the putting, putting greens and putt? Yeah. Awesome. Do you ever go to the driving range? Yeah. How far can you hit the ball? Do you know? I would say like 25 feet. 25 feet. Who do you go with when you go? Um, my California Eagles program. What's California Eagles? I haven't heard of them before. Can you share what they are? They are some kind of um, athletes with a disability that are good at golf. Wow. Also, yeah. What were you going to say? It's located in, it's located in Hagen Oaks Golf Course. Gotcha. Hagen Oaks is a big facility, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think it's one of the largest ones around. I like to go shopping there. I always get my golf balls there. Although, okay. Miss, Sue, Miss Sue, do you know what I find really interesting? No, I think that, I'm about to. Is that cheerleading is a sport? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Even guys cheerlead now, right? Yeah, no, it's just funny because everybody thinks that like a sport has to do something with ball technically. 
it doesn't have to be with the ball because um, I'm somewhat into uh, skateboarding and there's actually a, a, a leak for it called the SLS or the um, X Games. And like escape, uh, skateboarding is considered a sport. But technically, I guess you could say I'm like into like six sports. Most of them I watch and a couple of them I play. But yeah, no, that's what I find interesting is that you don't necessarily have to, the thing doesn't have to involve a ball in order to be called a sport. True. You got skiing, right? True. Yeah, you got skiing, snowboarding, skateboarding. Um, I think one's a uh, derby, the uh, roller derby. I think it's what's called when you're like, Go like rolling around in circle and just smashing people out of the way. Right. <laughs> I'm not sure if you've seen that. Yes, I have. I used to. My friend used to do it. She was she was pretty uh pretty tough. Oh my goodness. Yeah, over there at Foothole Foothills Rink over on Auburn Boulevard. I don't know if you guys know where that is. Foothill skating. Yeah. Yeah. That's where they have roller derby there. That's cool. Yeah, yeah I like to watch them. It's pretty fun to watch. And then there's like some called like field cross or something like that or lacrosse. Lacrosse. That has a ball, right? It does. Yeah, actually, it's interesting because I think it's, or at least in my opinion, anyway, the way I look at it a lot is that it's pretty much hockey, except that you're not on ice. And the the puck or the ball doesn't hit the ground, right? It usually stays in the air. Uh, in lacrosse, yes, but in hockey, it's normally down on the ice. But that's kind of the way I look at it and like tell the difference between the two. Or I guess you could look at lacrosse as in field hockey. There you go. Yeah. So. But yeah, no, I mean, I've never like actually played it, but it kind of like, it looks pretty fun, but I'm just like, I think I'll stick with the classical hockey, <laughs> you know, because of that male gender, but not trying to be sexist or anything, but that's just my opinion. Are there any female hockey players? Of is course, yeah, 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 there is. Just like um, the NBA and stuff, I think there's a uh, women's league. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen female hockey player. Have you, Tyler? No, but, you know, in Canada, that's the national sport. So. Oh, gosh, yes. Oh, it is? <laughs> you definitely will. I've actually had a couple of friends, uh, past friends, when I was younger who came from Canada, and they were, like, mostly, um, mostly females, and most of them were actually either into hockey or hockey players. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, there is such thing, definitely. Probably not here as, like, as popular, but definitely in Canada, you will definitely run into them. I did not know that. Yeah. Just like, oh, softball. But the only question about softball that I always wondered was that why is the ball the size of a grapefruit? <laughs> That's what, what I always wanted. It's not it's not like uh, girls are blind or anything. Maybe it's because it's a little bit softer. I don't know. Probably because they call hardball, right? And those balls are hard. Yeah, it's yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Hardball and softball. Yeah, and then there's baseball. What do you guys think about all the cardboard cutouts of the fans in the baseball fields now? Have you seen those? I think oh it's my gosh! Funny. I saw them in the football, and I just start laughing. I'm just like, "What in the world?" Because what the NFL does, depending on the stadium, but a good majority of them, they have the like cutouts, and then they have like these like, uh, foul, like these fan cheering like sounds that play in the background as they're playing. It's I weird. haven't heard that yet. It is super weird. I think it's pretty funny in baseball when the cutouts get hit by a baseball. Oh, you know, and they just go boom. <laughs> 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 it's like, oh, I can't catch anything because I'm a cutout. 
Oh, that would be interesting if there was a cutout that had like a glove and then it like went right into a glove. That would be pretty interesting. Oh, hi, Sammy. <laughs> I think we lost Sue. I don't know. Well, at least her dog is here. That's true. What about you, Tyler? Are you into any other sport? Are you into any sports? Uh... Well, when I was like five years old, I used to play soccer, but uh, uh, I think tennis is the one I like now. Tennis, yeah. Tennis is cool. Not my cup of tea, but it's cool. I think we lost Devin. Devin, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Because I was going to say, you kind of froze in an interesting position. You're just like... I know. <laughs> I'm back. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. What happened? Yeah, I don't know. It said my camera wasn't detected. I could hear you guys talking, but you couldn't hear me and couldn't see me, so... Uh, yeah, it was interesting because I was like sitting there. I was just like, well, we lost Miss Sue, but we can see Sammy. <laughs> That's sweet that you remember my dog's name. <laughs> oh, it is currently 9.51. Yeah, nine minutes left. Yeah. Anybody want to share uh, what they're doing this weekend or? Well, my birthday is on Friday, so I'm going to have a birthday party. Woohoo! How old are you going to be, Tyler? 21. Nice. 21. How many people are you having over? Just my brother and his girlfriend and and then his girlfriend's sister. Very cool. That'll be something to look forward to. Yeah. Anybody else have any plans for the weekend? Jonathan, are you doing anything this weekend? Can you think of anything that you have plans for this weekend, Jonathan? No plans? Uh, yes. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh... Are you going somewhere? Yes? No? Yeah. Yes, you're going to go somewhere? Do you know where you're going? And you remember where you're going? I remember I just Well think about it and if you can remember just let us know, okay? Okay. We'd like to hear about your weekend. How about Devin? Got any big plans, Devin? Um, not really. Not really? No. No golfing this weekend? 
Well, not really. I mean, I think they might be open or not because of the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah, most golf courses in the Sacramento area stayed open through the pandemic. The one by my house is open. Which one's that, you know? Ansel Hoffman. Oh, yeah, that one stayed open. Um, they just have new rules, like you can't take the flag sticks out of the green, can't touch those. They don't have rakes to rake the bunkers out. And one thing that I like is everybody gets their own golf cart, so you don't have to ride with anybody. That's cool. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Like, you're just driving around, and then there's no, like, rando just sitting next to you or behind you. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, do do do. Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> what you doing? Yeah, and you can go directly to your ball. You don't have to go to their ball, especially when they hit it out of bounds and go looking in the trees for their ball. Or in the, like, swamp or the little lagoons. Exactly. The drink what you referred to um my uh weekend we well my weekend usually i just call it surprise weekend because we don't know what we're doing until kind of like we're just like until that day yeah that's usually. good too so. that's jonathan fine. did you think of what you're doing yet yes, yes. Yes? Yes. All right. Where are you going, buddy? Uh, I, I Would you like a little more time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Miss Sue? What are you doing this weekend? Oh. I didn't even think about what I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe golfing now that, you know, the air quality is better today. Did you guys notice that? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, get outside and do something. I haven't been outside in weeks. Poor Sammy hasn't been for a walk in days. Sammy's like, what are you doing, my owner? <laughs> I want to go on a walk. Does anybody else have dogs? Have a dog? I, I think do. that, yeah. Big dog or little dog? Little. Little dog. Do you take your dog for walks? Yeah, every day. Every day. Good for you. I'm sure your dog's happy about that. Yeah. Jonathan, do you know where you're going yet? What you're doing this weekend? All right. Well, we're well, we're saved by the leaves of the breakout room. All right. I right, see you guys back in class. Good job, everybody. Thank you. And it says they'll close in one minute. So I wait. <laughs> back in the turn, nine fifty nine. <laughs> so, see, we have eight. I can't believe you beat out time. What's that? I said I can't believe you beat the time. Uh -huh. By a minute. Eleanor is using the restroom. I. I take it someone's not home at your house today, John. You got out of the bedroom. Oh. I just uh, I scheduled to be in this room today. <laughs> scheduled? You have to put it on the schedule. Uh, they're in the back. <laughs> well, I have to communicate what I'm doing. You know, and coordinate. Yeah. So they're. Um, Got to get that coordination. Yeah. I have to communicate ahead of time. Be like, so what are you going to be doing in the morning? In the morning. 
Where are you going to be? Okay, I'll have the living room for an hour. <laughs> yeah, Eleanor's room. Yeah, she, she went to the bathroom and she's been gone for a while. Oh, how long a while? Oh, maybe like five minutes. Damn, I don't see your picture. Who? Damn. Just a, it's just a black square. I see your picture. She looks frozen now. Yeah. is a black square. That's interesting. <laughs> Eleanor, come back. Oh my. <laughs> Yes, Andrew. You mind if I close my bedroom door? Since my mom just joined a meeting. Thank you. We're going to discuss this assignment. You're all going to get 10 minutes in. Anyway. So, how did the assignment go? I'd say it went pretty well. Yeah? It was interesting. Fine. Fine. <laughs> all right. Who's going to share from each group? Jonathan. I'm Ooh, Jonathan's in a bedroom, looks like. Okay, so who in Yvonne's group wants to share? Me. All right, go, Russ. So let's take one question at a time, all right? Question one to Royce. Um, for my question, for my answer, I think we should read the flyer before we begin to make before we begin that whole thing, and we should do it, done it yesterday before tomorrow, before, before today. Okay. Is that your whole team's consent? Consensus? Okay. Yes. And then who's speaking on Sue's team? Ty <clears throat> Tyler took notes, so. Yeah, I could do it. Go ahead, Tyler. Okay. Um... So do I read the whole paragraph or do I just state the answer? You can just state the answer, but but another thing we didn't talk about real quick. Sorry, Royce, did you all have something else on your initial reaction? Um, that was the initial reaction. Okay, so what was your second answer? Uh, okay, so this is our question. Oh, sorry, these are my next ones. All right. So this is that your supervisor asks you to write a sales flyer advertising the sale and send it to 100 of the company's best customers. She gave you the job yesterday and said you needed to mail the sales flyers by four o'clock today. You knew you could easily get the job done in two hours, so you started at 1.30 today. It's now 3.30, you're almost finished. However, a coworker looked at the letter and noticed an error. What should you do? What kind of initial reaction means like what you first think in your head, right? Like maybe you want to blow it off or, or hand it off to someone else or send it and pretend you didn't see the mistake. So no one came up with those kind of cheating ways first? No. Oh, a great answer. Okay. All right. Then, Tyler, go ahead. Okay. So for the first one, the initial reaction I got was panic. And uh, for the second thoughts... They got ask for an extension, let your boss know, or ask for a coworker's help. Okay. And then John's group, who's talking? Andrew is the reader. You want to go, Andrew? Andrew, did your team have an initial reaction? Uh, yes, we did. What was that? Um... This one was for the first question, yeah. correct? Yeah, right, yeah. Um, let's see here. I right. didn't take a notes at all. Go ahead, Andrew. Just what did we discuss, do you remember? Vaguely. <laughs> really, are you not focused today? I I'm am. Okay. Okay, hold on, Eleanor. Just a minute. I am focused. Did you take any notes? I mean, this was only just like right now, right? No, oh, I remember. Thank you. <laughs> so, 
Gosh darn it. <laughs> Remember we talked about how if um, you, they told you you needed to make errors or to make changes, what attitude would you have when you um, found out? So basically what we discussed is that we would get it done quickly, you know, to meet the um, time limit. Okay. So honestly on Tyler's team there, I mean, whose fault was this? Tyler, whose fault was this situation? Um, I'm not really sure. Well, your boss gave you the assignment a day before, <clears throat> right? You blew it off that whole day. Yeah. You waited until two hours before the deadline the next day. So whose fault is that? It's my fault for blowing it off. Yeah, it's not your boss's fault. She gave you plenty of time, right? Yeah. So when, when I heard all those answers from you, they sounded like kind of not taking full responsibility. But I mean, I'm not blaming anyone. We're just discussing, okay? We're just discussing stuff. To me, if this happened and I blew it off like that, I would absolutely stay until the job was done and then I would go home. I wouldn't try to hand it off or blow it off, right? I mean, because this is, this is absolutely the person's fault that didn't follow the boss's instructions, right? So why would a why would a coworker need to stay late because you blew it off? Just asking, okay? I'm just I'm just asking what a boss would say. Does anyone have any comments on that? Okay, go ahead, Nathan. Um, I was gonna say that the employee probably should have uh not this like more of like listened to the instructions and was more uh oh my goodness i've been doing this all day um not necessarily more organized but like more like kind of planning out what to do and like did got the was uh uh okay i'm sorry i'm drawing a blank um it's been happening for the past couple of days it's bad uh yeah i just lost my train of thought okay so basically the the employee here did not follow the boss's instructions right kind of thought they knew better I'm like yeah that's easy i don't need to start it today in fact i don't need to start it till after lunch tomorrow right so that was not very good at following the boss's instructions you may disagree with that part. Jonathan, do you think that this person was following the boss's instructions? Uh. <laughs> All right. Any more comments on that one or should we move on to the next? Moving on? Let's oh. move on. All right. So the next one says, a coworker helped a customer on the phone by answering many important questions. This customer was very grateful and promised to do more business with your company. Your supervisor thought you gave the customer the assistance, praised your work, and said that a promotion may be in your future. You've been working toward this promotion for two years. What should you do? So let's hear initial reactions um, let's hear from Yvonne's team on the initial reaction. I would tell the truth. And that's your initial. Okay, so there's no thought of like going, oh, okay, let's let this slide so I get the promotion. No, that would be selfish. Why would I do that? And would it be a very good team worker? No, I would just tell the truth. I didn't. The cohort did it, not me. Okay, and sometimes that can get you even more credit, right? It was you didn't take credit for someone else's work, and that could also help you get a promotion. Clad, looks like you had something you might want to say. I was honestly thinking about the first part where I was like, hey, hey I want the credit and the promotion, and everything. And sure, there is that selfish side, but there's the fact that sometimes we just kind of don't 
some so people just don't feel that reaction. Yeah, some people just don't feel that initial reaction, like Royce. Okay, and but your second thoughts, Clad, were that we do have to tell the truth, and that if we don't, then we have to go out of our way to make a lot of lies, and we feel guilty for it, and oh, it'd be right. a pain. Yeah. Okay, Nathan, go ahead. Kind of going off what um, Vlad said is that um, you pretty much would have to make up a bunch of lies and then like every other situation, eventually the full real truth will come out and it will not look good. No, it will not. All right, anyone from another team or are we all just kind of going individual at this point? Okay. Do you have a comment? Sam. No. Okay, we need to comment. Uh, we'll go, you'll go on break soon. I just want to stop for a break as soon as we finish this one and then we'll and then we'll move on. Okay. So right. let's go ahead. Anyone else have anything to say about that one? Oh, no, no way. Anyone have anything else to say about question two? You're just all excited about sports, huh? Anybody huh? from my team? <laughs> Anyone from John's team have a comment? Okay, so I'll tell you what, we'll go to the last question, but before I can let us go, I'm gonna need to hear from Jordan, Andrew, Devin, and Sam, okay? Those are the four people I need to hear from before I can let you have a 10 minute break and go on to sports. All right? So this is the one you eat lunch with, with your coworkers, correct? Is that the one we're on? Yep. Okay. So you eat lunch every day with some of your coworkers. They often complain about the supervisor and several other coworkers. You are uncomfortable with the conversation and you usually remain quiet. But a couple of your coworkers try to draw you into the conversation. One coworker is known to repeat everything she hears. What should you do, Jordan? Question. You know? I have, that's just a question I have for the third. I have the right different. question. Yeah, I have a different one too. We so have number. The supervisor asks you to work overtime question. That's number okay. three for us. Because <laughs> I have nine of them here. There's more of this. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's only three. We only got three. Oh, I only sent you three at a time. <laughs> oh. There's more of this coming our way. I'm trying not to give too much other homework right now because I really need you all to finish the two big assignments you have. So I think oh, okay. We still get the work done and you have more time to work on the Okay, your supervisor asked you to work overtime this weekend. You have worked overtime for the past two weekends. There are several other employees who have not worked any overtime. You really just want to go out with your friends this weekend. What should you do? Okay, Jordan, go ahead. Hey, tell your friend, you could be like, hey, can we do it another weekend or something? Because I have to work overtime. Okay. Andrew? Mm. I mean, what you could do, um, let's see here. Did you forget our discussion? No. Okay, go ahead. So, I mean, it, why am I not thinking today? <laughs> Come back in a minute. And also, I'm going to add Eleanor and Jonathan to this. Um, Ty, I already heard enough from you for this oh, time. Okay. We are over time right now. Devin, what's your comment? I think it's okay um, to work overtime alone. 
Just don't you wouldn't complain to your boss. You wouldn't complain to your coworkers. You just do it. Yeah. Okay. Eleanor, what do you think? Your boss wants you to work overtime again, and you want to go hang out with your friends. What do you do? I did a shop first, and then after, and, and um, after we do the shop, we can hang out. What an excellent answer, Eleanor. All right, Jonathan, I'm expecting something awesome from you too. Okay, so it's the weekend. You already been working overtime. You want to hang out with your friends, but your boss wants you to work. What do you do, Jonathan? Come on. Do you go to work or do you hang out with your friends or what do you do? Go to work. Good job. Good job. All right, Andrew, I'm back to you. And what you could do is, um, well, I'm worrying. I'm just completely messed up on my words. <laughs> That's okay. Just keep going. And you could do what needs to be done first, then after that, you can hang out with your friends. Good job. All right. Nathan wants to say something. We need to wrap this up. And then, and if Tyler, if you want to, too, go ahead. Nathan, um, go ahead. Uh, I was going to say that um, you could also not necessarily appeal, appeal or complain, but, like, respectfully, like, mention that maybe somebody else wants overtime or they didn't or they maybe somebody else want a little more time kind of thing. Okay. So you can respectfully advocate for yourself, right? That's yes. the first time I heard that one. But that's also something that you can do. Oh oh yeah and Sam I forgot to ask you. What would you do, Sam? What's that? She put it down in chat. So she would start the. Okay. That was the first question, though. If your boss wants you to work overtime for the weekend and you wanted to hang out with your friends, how would you handle that? You've already been working a lot of overtime. Sam. You can type it or say it. Okay. Sam, you hear me? And want to hang out with your friends, how would you handle that? Oh, great. Yeah, she would still work overtime. Good job, Sam. All right. So. I was still. I was still work overtime. Okay. And Tyler, I didn't mean to stop you. Do you have a last thing you'd like to say? Uh, yeah. What I put is, uh, I would put that I, I did want to hang out with my friends, but I the right thing to do is to make your boss happy and work overtime because it gives a good reputation to your boss. True. If they keep calling on you, they probably like you. But there is also a point, like Nathan brought up, where you need to advocate for yourself, right? Because it's not fair, really, for them just to call on the same person every single time. But you have to do it respectfully. And then, okay, I'll, I'll work this, this weekend because you need me to work overtime again. But maybe next weekend, someone else can take the shift. Anybody like that idea? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sue has something to say. I was just saying when Nathan came up with that, I thought that was a really good idea to advocate for yourself and have your boundaries. So I thought that was very good. Yes, because some people and bosses will take advantage of you, right? 
So Nathan, I, I like how you're always respectful, but that you're also kind of stick up for yourself, right? Okay, so it's 1020. Why don't we all turn off our picture and our volume for 10 minutes and then we'll come back. In fact, I'm gonna make John host while you all do that. And then for staff, if you could all either wait or take a break and come back in at 11.30 for our staff meeting. Does that work? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna, you're all gonna take 10, but I'm gonna make John host and then I'm gonna exit from this, but I will see you all tomorrow. Okay. All right. See you, Sherry. Okay. Bye. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Okay. You too, Sherry. Bye, Sherry, you too. Bye. No hope. Bye, Bye Eleanor. Bye. Okay, sorry, what'd you say? I said no homework and early day out. All yeah. right. Yeah, you're gonna come back and talk about sports, okay? Uh, and sure, you know what to do, right? Okay. So, John, I made you host, so I think I can just leave. Correct. All right. Thank you. <laughs> let me let me check again. Make sure I don't mess up. It said, um, you are now host. Okay, awesome. Bye. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you later Bye. today. Um, John? I Bye. Yeah? Um, I was wondering, when you have time, do you think you could help me put my, or uh, attach my picture to my student bio, please? Yeah, just send me, um, send me your picture. And okay. your bio. Okay, because hey. I think the, my picture that I wanted to use is in the email. Oh. Um, I could didn't... just forward it to you? Yeah, just forward it to me, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hey, John. What's up? <laughs> what? I'm already, bro, I was going to say. Give me okay. a minute. You probably thought I've been stuttering most of the day because, you know, my mind's been turned part way off. No worries. Don't worry about it. Just try again next time. And besides, I could probably use some sleep right now. <laughs> well, you but can just only... prepare and make mental notes, right? So, like, after our discussion, I always think... Mm -hmm. I, mean, I was going to text you while Trey was talking. I was going to text you when Trey was talking. Like, please help me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, that would be a bad idea. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. Um, yeah. So, like, if we're in the oh. breakout room, <laughs> just if we're in the breakout room, say, hey, John. Um, <laughs> hey, John, I need to have a question real quick before we jump onto the class, right? <laughs> Cause then yeah. if you're in the class, then I have to give you, I have to help you in front of everyone. <laughs> yeah. It's so not, just that take that weird. second to grab me real quick. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to be like asking questions in front of everybody. So. You just brought up your uh, Xbox home screen. <laughs> uh, were you hearing what I said? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, um, we're going to go. I have to use the bathroom, so. We'll yeah, I'll let you go now. Jonathan, you can take a break until 10 o'clock. Right? 10 o'clock? Oh. 10.30. 10.30. No, 10.30. Jonathan, come back at 10.30. Can okay? I just play my piano um, until then? I guess he went AFK. Okay. Oh, God, no. Don't start that. Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening?
Nathan, you want to hear something um, that I know for sure? Uh, sure. This song is How Great Thou Art. I'm going to do it with the <sighs> stringed instruments as well. where I was. <laughs> Besides me messing up, how did, how was that? Uh, Nathan. Good. That was very nice. Yeah, except for that one mess up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you know John's email? What? Do you know John's email? Uh, I'll text it to you. Oh, okay. Uh, I have it somewhere. Do, 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 do. Shut up. Hey, it's not my fault, okay? Maybe it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Where's his email? What the hell? Excuse me. Oh, Tyler. Good grief. See, I told you. Oh, just, just knock it off. Maybe. Somewhere I have his email. What the hell? Why is your picture so funny? Because yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and two minutes. Come on, myself. I can get this done. Get what done? Trying to find John's email. I have it. Yeah, same here, but it's I didn't try and look for it. It's literally in the Zoom meeting. Duh. Just go to Nathan, did you hear that? Go to participants and then just go to and it just says his email right there. <laughs> My phone's lagging. There goes my cat again. Gosh darn. Oh, hi, John. Hey, John, did you hear all the music? John?
Hello, everyone. Hey. Tyler, get off the Xbox home screen. <laughs> okay. We'll yeah, wait for I everyone to come back. Forward. Oh, Sue is, is in Cabo or something. I wish. Hello. Hello, everyone. Bonjour. Hello. Hey, yo. To Sports Center. Uh -oh. Can I get a sport? Can I get, a, can I get my play some sports music real quick? Speaking of sports, I've got Spalding right here. Welcome to the sports channel. <laughs> Welcome to the sports channel. Yes, uh, Look at that. Clad has Wilson. I have Wilson. 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 <laughs> Don't lose Wilson. <laughs> Wilson. Wait, Sue, <laughs> behind you in the water. <laughs> ah! Definitely. Wilson! Oh, Wilson! That was, very, that was a very oh. emotional part. <laughs> that was, yeah. that God, was, you're yeah. kidding. Right? Yeah. Isn't awful, that interesting? Awful. Isn't that weird psychology? <laughs> yeah. When you lose your friend, even though it's a ball, he's still your yeah. friend. No. Well, in the movie, they made a bond, you know? Yeah. yeah. They had a bond, and they established that throughout the movie, and then they had a, you had they an had emotional awesome attachment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you guys hear my sports music? Yeah. I did. Wait. Uh, John. <laughs> oh, come on, John. I've got a better idea for sports music. Now I'm not emphasizing you guys play music, okay? I just thought that would be a, <laughs> that'd be a fun idea. Yeah. How about the NFL? Theme? If it ever comes down to music, I have my piano keyboard right here. Okay, mm. but always ask permission first. I know. <laughs> All right. So who wants to go first? So sports. Uh, let's do sports teams. Oh. Uh, Really? How about uh, let's go with Eleanor first? Eleanor, you there? <laughs> yes. What? What's your favorite sports team? Mm, on. Did you guys catch that? Football. Huh. Football. Yeah. Oh, cool. Do you have a specific team that you like? Um, yes, I do. What team do you like? Um, I like white. Did you guys catch that? Uh, did you say sure. the No, I didn't catch it at all. I think she said the Raiders. Did you say Raider? The Raiders, Eleanor. Um, yeah. She Raiders. said the Raiders. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Oakland Raiders. Raiders. Awesome. Pretty cool. My uncle loves the Raiders. <laughs> that was mine. <laughs> I think it's either the Niners or the Raiders, right? The yeah, Niners. those are the big two. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Why don't you guys raise your hand, whoever wants to go? Okay. Nathan has his hand up. Okay, go ahead, Nathan. Um, I was going to say mine is the Seattle Seahawks. Oh, boo. <laughs> boo, Nathan. How dare you? you? Look how beautiful that jersey is. <laughs> boo, Nathan. Like how dare you? Uh... Do you have a 12 jersey? Um, no, I do not. It's uh, 29. And also, cool. 
Also, fun fact, actually, my oh, other favorite shoot. team is the Green Bay Packers. Oh, okay. Because the uh, best way I explain it is that the Seahawks are my heart, but the Green Bay Packers are my soul because um, my family's a Green Bay's pa- – uh, my green, or at least my dad, anyway, is a Green Bay Packer fan, so is my brother. Oh, but okay, I, so it's a family thing. Yeah, but I kind of wanted to be a little bit different, so I went to Seattle Seahawks. <laughs> so did Sherman Williams, was he from the Seahawks? What was that? Was Sherman Williams from the Seahawks? Uh, Richard Sherman. Was it, is it Richard Sherman? Yes, I thought it was Sherman yeah. Williams. Uh, yeah, he came no, from the No, that's just that paint store. Uh, not- Oh, last time. <laughs> oh no no! <laughs> Before. Oh no no! His name, I thought his first name was Sherman, but anyway, he has a long dress. Right? Yeah. yeah he okay. Talks about two seasons ago. Yeah, we got him. He's uh, awesome. Yeah. He came. He came to my side. <laughs> yeah. No, and you guys got smacked by Arizona, I think. The Cardinals. Yeah, Arizona beat you guys at Cardinals. Yeah, they beat us, yeah. Dude, they broke. Mm. Oh, my gosh. They tried to break Kettle so bad because that one uh, that one um, Cardinal tried to go straight for his kneecaps. <laughs> but that's, yeah, it's only that preseason, was messed up. so yeah, it's no, only preseason. Yeah, that's the thing about Kettle, though, is that you cannot stop that boy. That boy will keep going. If he's determined, he will do it. Yep. He's a monster. George Kettle. He's definitely a mo- is, he's Yeah, monster. he's one of my favorites. I've been just going back and watching like NFL highlights <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like the last few months. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, it was crazy, though, because the first uh, time, or at least on Sunday morning earlier that day, yeah. I was a little bit no, I was a little bit nervous because um, – Seattle's first game was uh, the the Falcons, and like they looked pretty good last. <laughs> so I was a little bit nervous but last we, season. But the uh, yeah, but the uh, uh, Seahawks slapped them, so I'm good. <laughs> yeah, Atlanta is pretty good. Yeah, no, I was a little bit yeah. nervous. Move on or no? Gosh, they're playing the Falcons, and then they yeah. Uh, the Hawks ended up winning 38 to, I think it was 18. So. You know what's weird is since when I was a kid, there was a certain certain number of teams that were not very good, oh. and now those teams are good. <laughs> well, they they go through phases. They go through yeah. phases where one season they're just awesome, and then the next year they're maybe not so good, and the year after that they kind of go downhill, and then other yeah. teams pick up. and. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, no, like that's what happened with Oakland is that they was sad because they, a couple of seasons ago they were really good and then now they're like <clears throat> average to almost like they're not the terrible, bottom, yeah. but they're not like as good as they used to be. Yeah. Yeah, Oakland definitely has had their issues with being good one season and then not yeah. good for yeah. like five seasons in a row. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Same with the Seahawks. The Seahawks weren't that good last year. But they had their time to shine. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. They definitely had their legion. Yeah. Team, for sure. Yeah. Dude, they just smacked, dude. When um, people tried to play them, they just smacked into, into a brick wall when the defense. Oh, Lord. Eleanor, go ahead. Uh, I, I have to go to the um, the fish. She has to right now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, Eleanor. Hi, Eleanor. Have a Bye. good day. Bye, Bye Eleanor. Bye. See ya. Say to Eleanor. Goodbye, Bye. Eleanor. Bye, Have you a good guys. day. Okay. Mm. So, okay, so we discussed a bit of football. So, what other sports do you guys like? I love like soccer. Tyler, Devin, Jordan. Other sports I like. I like airsoft. Airsoft. <laughs> what is that? Did you say airsoft? Yes, I said airsoft. I don't know what that is. It's like a gun for children. Oh, it's not. Oh, airsoft. Oh, it's like a BB, plastic BBs that you shoot, okay. right? 
airsoft. Oh, yeah. Games. Yeah. But is that a sport? <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't think so. I don't think it's a sport. Or I like I do like football, but I like the Raiders. You like the Raiders too. Oh. So yeah. oh, I Jordan likes the Raiders. Nathan? Um, I was going to say, actually, fun fact, me, there's this little joke in between me and my brother, but uh, me and my brother were watching the, uh, uh. the Oakland Raiders game one time, and then my brother goes, what the heck? Car has a Lego head. And then from then on, we called him Lego head every time when we saw uh, Derek Lego. Carr. <laughs> so we like go like, oh, hey, look, there's Lego head. Oh, look, Lego's head. Lego had the uh, they, uh the Oakland Raiders are playing because of Lego head. <laughs> so that was like a little fun fact joke thing that me and my brother run in between each other. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. You said Legoland? I said Lego head. Lego Oh, head. okay. <laughs> because if you <laughs> if you oh. like if you look carefully when he takes his helmet off, you can tell that he has like a Lego head. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, so we call them Lego Head from then on. So now, like every time we see him, we go, "Hey, look, it's Lego Head." <laughs> but he's Does he have like a button on the top of his head? Yeah, he, his head looks like the, like it's the shape of a Lego, like a that's yellow how, peg. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's how he holds his helmet on. That's true. The, you know, right, yeah. Snap, snap it on there. <laughs> has to pop it off. <laughs> yeah. He could change his hair that way too, right? Yeah. <laughs> he just picks up a huge thing, plastic thing, puts it on his head. <laughs> Clip on an umbrella in the rain. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> or he has hands like this. Yeah. <laughs> you clip the football in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so how about other sports other than football? Tyler? Um, uh, I like tennis. Oh, I love tennis. Do you, I, do you watch it on TV or do you play it? No, I mean, I, I've, I've had practice in playing it. Ooh. Oh, fun. Yeah. So, so where do you go? Do you go to a park? you go to one of the colleges? or? No, I have a, um, a gym membership. It's a kind of a special gym where they have like a tennis court and like a bunch of different stuff yeah oh wow okay have you ever played handball no i don't think i have you hit it against the wall and and it's a big room where it's just all walls in there and you play you can play with someone else actually it's kind of it's sort of similar to, to tennis um does anyone else like tennis this could be pretty fun yeah well it's fun to play then my wife's family is really into tennis oh when do you play no not really okay. i do i do respect tennis as a really skilled sport yeah uh, you have to have a lot of endurance because you're running back and forth yeah. yeah it's just really tiring yes if you're not in shape yeah. nathan yeah i was gonna say like a little quick comment about tennis is that like John said, I do have respect for it, and you have to have endurance. But mm -hmm. I just find it interesting when you watch it on TV, just the noises they make is super fun to listen to. They're like, ha, huh, huh, huh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's very like, echoey, yeah, really right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clad, what is that picture of? Huh? <laughs> Are you there, Clad? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay. You froze. You like We saw your ceiling for a minute. Oh, <laughs> your shoulder or something? I think it was your shoulder. I think it was my shoulder too. Okay. Um, Sam is not. Sam is gone. Um, Nathan. Uh, rugby. Rugby. I'm not sure if you guys know. Yeah, rugby. I'm not sure if you guys ever heard of rugby. Basically, yeah. rugby's like 
ball, but instead they don't have all that safe, uh, like that safety padding kind of thing. Like there's no helmet or anything. Yeah. That's well, like similar, but they kind of toss the ball a little bit differently kind yeah. of thing, you know, and they don't take breaks in between plays. They just keep going. Like, yeah. I think it's a really fun sport, but like sitting aside hockey, it is proven to be one of the most roughest sports because you can actually tackle somebody and you can get a tooth stuck in your head. Oh, yeah. A lot of people have a, that's a dangerous <laughs> sport to play. A lot of yeah. people badly hurt there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no. And these guys are huge. These guys are like 6'6 six, six and like 280 pounds of pure muscle. They're ginormous. Yeah. These they just the put their guys. heads together, you know, when they get in that, I don't know what they call it, that circle. Yeah, the, well, they're all they, interlinking they, arms, and they, they just put their heads up, and then just go, Whoa! And they yeah, like, man, each other. dude, it's a gnarly but fun sport to watch. Oh my gosh, my favorite teams, the New Zealand All Blacks. I I really want to get into rugby. I mean, not play it, but watch it. Yeah, <laughs> you really should. It's super fun, but it's so like it's so like. It's dangerous though, because you definitely can get a concussion from there. Yeah. 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 So Sam Sam puts in the in the chat that she likes bowling. I love bowling. I'm not good at That's it, but I love to yeah. bowl. It's so much fun. Bowling's challenging. <laughs> this this is for sure a hard game. Like I yeah. don't know what it is, but why is it so hard? <laughs> yeah, it's, right. It's hard, but it is. It is hard. You just got to – it's all about balance and, I don't know, the right precision. Aiming. <laughs> yeah. I like bowling. I don't get to do it very often, but has anybody ever um, been bowling out to the lanes? Um, what's it called? Country club lanes, I think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a huge bowling alley. Who remembers Crestview lanes? Oh, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They yeah. shut down in like 2009 or something like that. I remember when I was a kid, we used to go there. Really? Yeah, yeah. me too, actually. They, they were open like all night. That oh, was yeah. fun. That was nice. That's... It wasn't that big. They still have the sign out there. At least yeah. they used to. They had it out there for a long time. It might be gone now, but I always wanted that sign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put it in my backyard or something. But um, So anyone else bowl? Well, we went bowling at some of our outings at Project Search, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was fun. Was that was that Country Cub Lane, Sue? Yes. Yeah. Right by Project Search. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a cool bowling alley. They got all kinds of games, and it's just huge. Pretty decor. I liked it. I love I love taking people bowling on the outings and stuff like that. I miss that. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. I miss going on outings. Period. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Yes, my right. other job, I was constantly going on outings with people, Aww. so yeah. I definitely miss that. Absolutely. So, Devin, do you have a favorite sport? You have to unmute yeah. yourself. What is it? Um, golf. Golf. Do you play? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. How long have you been playing golf? Um, since eight years ago, or no, seven years. So are you really good at it? Yeah. Yeah? You ever play miniature golf? Yeah. So do you go on the big golf courses or do you play miniature golf? I play miniature golf at sometimes. Like there's the one on Madison Avenue. Scandia. Yeah. 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 That's the one. Oh, I haven't been there for oh my gosh, since I was younger than you guys. It's been a long time. Devin, tell her what course that you like to play. Oh. No. Nobody. It's not here. Oh, well, glad to have you back, Eleanor. Yeah. 
Did it get canceled? Yeah. Okay. So oh, okay. Okay. Nobody. Who is talking? Just nothing. Devin. So, Devin, what course do you like to play? Hagen Oak. What is it? Hagen Oaks, right there on 80 and Fulton Avenue, one of the biggest ones, Superstore around. Oh, I know we that have one. Three golf courses on that course. Oh, wow. Huh. Not that I know anything about golf. <laughs> I, I don't know anything about golf. Golfing's another challenging uh, precision game. Yeah. Sport. Yeah. What about Jonathan? Have you told us what you your sport you like is, Jonathan? What? What sport do you like, Jonathan? I soccer. 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 Good job. That is a true sport. Yeah. Do you have a favorite team, Jonathan? Do you like the Sharks? Huh? Who's your favorite team? Uh, you don't have a favorite team, you just like it in general. Nathan, did you want to help Jonathan out? Is that why you have your hand raised? Uh, the, uh, right. I'm just wondering because you're good at uh, that. Yeah, I can help him because I was actually going to say also fun fact that there's actually um, two series of soccer. There's the Premier League and then there's the MLS, which is short for Major League Soccer. But I mean, I could help him, but it's kind of a little bit challenging because I'm not sure which one he's into, though. Yeah, no, I was just wondering because you were helping him earlier with that. So yeah, no, I can help him. No, that's OK. We're good. He answered soccer, so that's good. Good job, yeah. Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew said, why do you keep going off and on? Please stay focused in this group, okay? Okay. Thank you. Andrew said the Giants. Which one? San Francisco. San Francisco. San Francisco. It's a football. That's a baseball. Yeah, and there's, yep. know there's two of them. That's all. Yeah. Yay, buddy. The San Francisco Giants, that's a uh, baseball. Yeah. They, they yeet the balls around. <laughs> they definitely do yeet the balls around. <laughs> I was yeah. also going to say that don't the Yankees yeet the balls around too? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, dude, the New York Yankees are just, oh, my gosh. But like, I mean, I don't like my favorite team actually is the uh, it's the San Francisco Giants. But I do have respect for the Yankees, though. Yeah, for sure. They're called the Evil Empire. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely are. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Like almost every single game that they ever played, they would always win, and they would win with mm -hmm. like, like with like home runs, and like they do have some of the most common like best players too like babe ruth is a legend and he played mm -hmm. on the i believe the new york yankees for a long long time yeah and like one of my favorite movies is based off of baseball i'm not sure if any of you heard of it probably you uh maybe john has but it's called sandlot oh yeah yeah heck yeah and they're also the reason why i love my converse which was on my foot but I took it off to show you guys. Man, those were some good times back then. That movie brings back some fond memories. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. I actually played uh, baseball for a couple of years. Oh, fun. And then, sadly, Me too. I, and then sadly, I had to stop because you can only play for so long. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, because they only accept from like I think it's like eight, like super young. Like there's a t-ball, and then they go all the way until eighteen, and then after eighteen, you have to stop. Oh, and be a little yeah. bit younger because that's how far they go when it comes to like like teams and stuff. I was a Detroit Tiger for a while. <laughs> that that was so much fun. Oh my goodness. Well, then you have city leagues after that. You have to join a city league. That's true, yeah. You're kind of um, on your own after that. Yeah, but I didn't really do city, city league, though. I only played for, like, until I think high school. Maybe a little bit after, maybe around junior high, high school, and then I stopped because, well, I don't know why I did, but I did, but I kind of miss it. I was never tough enough to uh... – Go beyond Little League. Ah, <laughs> uh, John. Because after a while, they, you know, it's very tough to play. It mm-hmm. is, yeah. Dude, and getting hit with the balls, no joke. They hurt. Mm. Yeah. They definitely hurt. It looks, it feels like getting pegged by a rock. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's basically a rock. <laughs> Pretty much. No, I call it the flying rock. <laughs> Well, it has no padding. There's, It's not soft. No, it all. is not. It is not. But like I said, uh, when I was with Miss Sue, I was like, there's softball, but why the heck is the ball like the size of a grapefruit? It's like girls have bad like eyesight or something. Why is that? <laughs> I don't understand. I really don't understand. That's a great question. I don't know why they're, why it's bigger than a hard ball. People but I know that they throw the ball differently, so that could be an aspect of it because they throw the awesome. ball underarm. You know? Have you ever yeah. seen a um, women's softball game? Uh, I haven't like been like one in person, but I have like watched a little bit of it on TV at like Buffalo Wild Wings or something. I think it was, yeah, Buffalo Wild Wings. I've seen like a couple of games, like a half a game or something like that. It's very incredible the way they throw it, you know? I know, and you wouldn't think, like, um, I think it's in the second Sandlot, but, like, there's, like, this scene when they're, like, making fun of these girls because they play softball, and then she, like, thro- like one of them's a pitcher, and then she throws it underhand, and she throws it super fast, and then they go, like, whoa, what the heck? And then they go, yeah. dude, you just got struck out by a girl. <laughs> Sam says her family members still play <laughs> softball. But yeah, no, I have some really big respect for those who play softball. How yeah, about I you, mean, Royce? Haven't heard from you. Sorry to interrupt. Um, I don't like. I don't really like sports in general. That's all you got? Do you have any comment on any of the sports that were mentioned? Nope, not really. I don't really follow the, the feet balls and the, t- and the badmintons and the other things. Badminton? Like tennis, racket, racket sports? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, I know. I was trying to make a little joke, but I don't really <laughs> do those things or know about them. <laughs> I just played something similar to that, but I don't really acknowledge that uh, at all. What about okay. your parents or family? Does your family like sports? They they do, but I don't. But I don't really like being a part of that. Can anyone else see Sam's video up? Because I can't see it. I can, but it's kind of frozen. I can. Um, she's kind of. She, looks like she's she's frozen. frozen. Yeah, for me, for me, her screen is black. Oh, oh. Yeah. she's also her black. Her screen's black for me too. I see her that she's frozen. Hmm. Yeah, I see her frozen as well. I don't Everyone see it at all. Good internet see. connection can see her frozen. Sam, Sam, can you hear us? Yeah. Can you hear you guys? Oh my! I can hear you guys. It's just it's the second connection. Nothing we can do about it. 
Okay, just wondering if you're still there. And Sherry Reedy, Sherry Reedy knows about the Zoom connection. Okay. She knows about it. Right, you're moving now, Sam. Why is it so quiet now? I don't know. That's George. Okay, so who haven't we heard from, Ben? Um, let's see. Where is Jordan? Um, I don't know. She didn't say this thing. I don't see her oh. at all. She left the meeting. Let me text her real quick. But she's not here, I just realized that. Huh. I wonder where she is. Let me just text her and see what she's doing. Okay. Miss Yvonne. Uh huh. You know what I find interesting is that a good majority of the sports or it's like it doesn't have to involve a ball in order to be a sport. Like, for example, skateboarding is a sport. Right. Bike riding is a sport, too. Hmm? Yeah. Bike riding is. Right. Bike riding, yeah. Uh, BMX. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, martial arts. Mm -hmm. Martial arts, yeah. Sports. Boxing. Fencing. Oh my goodness, have you seen a person fence? It's so silly, but it looks kind of fun. You poke it with <laughs> like a... long like toothpick swords. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I wouldn't want to try it though. <laughs> definitely not. No, definitely. That's a very elegant sport. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, yeah, it's a very elegant. Me me and elegance do not go together. It's bad. <laughs> Let me guess. You have to uh... it's like polo and fencing. You oh. have to be very rich or ritzy to play those games, those sports. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, polo looks hard. I have a hard time swimming itself. Trying to keep my head above yeah. the water. I'm a good swimmer, eh? Or well, not polo, but um, what is the sport where you're on the horse? Uh, horseback polo? riding. Is that polo? Riding, polo. It's called polo. horseback riding. Or no, polo. you're right, John. It's called polo. Polo, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, water definitely... polo, and then I guess you'd call it horse polo. polo. Oh, that's right. There's two <laughs> yeah. different kinds. There's no, just water polo, polo. There's horse polo. I'm talking about water polo. Me, uh, I'm not a bad swimmer. I'm average. Like, I'm strong enough to keep my head above the water. But I'm not, like, a super, super strong swimmer. You know, like, I'm not on the swim team or anything. The joke is, actually, I'm actually 25% Chinese. But kind of the well, but yeah, no, it's I. The joke is, is that um, Asian people can't swim, but I'm part Asian. But oh, know. that's a stereotype <laughs> right there. Chinese, if you didn't know that. <laughs> but that's the joke. But it's just more because I'm not a big fan of water in general. I guess you could say probably ever since I learned I'm allergic to peanuts, I'm kind of afraid of getting back in the water because. The most common question I get is what does it feel like when you have allergic reaction? And basically, the best way to describe it is that pretty much you're drowning, except you're not in water. Because the yeah. thing is in on yeah. itself. Oh, okay. So. Interesting. Interesting fact. <laughs> What's that, Tyler? Anyway, back to sports. Do you think that <laughs> snorkeling could be a sport? Because I've done that before. It's really uh, cool. Oh, wow. Maybe. Huh. I mean, Maybe. you exercise when you're doing it. You're swimming. Right. Well, one way how to find out. I think, so if you added, I think if you add an aspect to it where you were like, it was a competitive, uh, had a competitive nature to it or something like that, then it could be a sport. 
Okay. I just didn't know what the definition of sport meant. I thought it was just exercising. No. Sport is not just exercise. Yeah, I it's think it's competitive. Playing in a competitive yeah. uh, so it's the aspect of playing in a competitive atmosphere. Mm-hmm. And you play for money or just in general? Well, then in that case, bicycling is not a sport. Unless well, it you're, someone. You're, it's a race, though. So you're you competing have races against everyone. On bicycles. So technically, that is a sport. Right. If you're a cyclist like the Tour de France, you have, um, you're on the team. Mm-hmm. Because I was I was gonna say, isn't like isn't there such thing as like mountain biking or something like that? I always wanted to try that. I'm sure there's some sort of sport involving mount, mountain biking for sure. Because, there probably like, are. I like watch uh, the X Games and they show up on there and it's like people riding down these like crazy dirt roads going off like crazy like mountainy dirt roads. I'm just like that just looks scary. Yeah. <laughs> like, why would you do that? I think it's called dirt biking. I don't like, the wrong turn, or you turn to loosely, or whatever, and then you go flying off a cliff or something. That would be bad. Yeah, those sports are, it's your scoring. You're seeing who gets the best score. Yeah, no, it, is, it looks scary. Yeah, X Games is scary. <laughs> Well, that's X why it's X games. The, or at least um or at least that looks scary. Snowboarding's fun and it's an X game. Yeah. Same with skateboard. Skateboard's fun and it's an X game. It can be a little dangerous because you could give yourself a bad concussion, but Oh, you can hurt yourself real bad skating. Yeah, and like actually it's fun funny actually coming from a skater or semi skater. It's um in general it's interesting because me uh because us and the longboarders always like try to compare and contrast which one's more dangerous is it if it's longboarding or skateboarding. Truth of the matter is it's that they're both super dangerous because in longboarding you go, you're going down like super steep hills and you're going like eighty miles an hour, like mm -hmm. a speeding car. Oh. NASCAR. We didn't mention NASCAR. Yeah, oh, racing. NASCAR. Just red car racing. Ooh, rally. Rally. Have any of you guys seen rally car? Uh, rally mm -hmm. racing? Never. John, have you heard of rally racing or seen it? I have heard of it. It is so um, cool I don't know if I've seen it. So like it's super cool because um so rally is basically sort of like NASCAR, except that they're pretty much racing like they have time and stuff and they have a co um co driver not a co driver but like a direction person. Oh, yeah, I have seen that. Yeah, yeah pretty much you're going eighty miles an hour on like different like things like turf, dirt, mud. Yeah. Snow. And then you're, like, doing jumps and stuff as you're doing it. It's so cool to watch. I remember watching sprint car racing. And then they have, like, and they drift. Dude, it's so cool when they drift. Yeah. Dude, that's, like, a car boy's dream is just drifting or learning how to drift. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> you know, driving takes a lot of skill. Oh, definitely. For sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It really does. Dude, have any of you Can't seen... Can't slouch on driving. Have any of you seen Baby Driver? No. I haven't and seen that. It's, it's a, a good, good movie. movie. And bas uh, basically, it's about this kid who drives or did drive. And basically, he's one of the best drivers I think I've ever seen. But it's fake, though. <sighs> he definitely sounds like a baby. And he listens to an iPod. <laughs> Wow, that's told. Anywho, back to uh, sports. So I have, uh, yeah, going back to sprint car racing. When I was a kid, we used to watch sprint car racing all the time. And we had actually a neighbor of ours was in the races. He was oh. one of the top, um, the top racers. Yeah, so um, his name was Ray Russ. 
it's not like sprint car racing is not like a huge sport, but it was a big local sport, you know? Oh, dude, that sounds like a racer name too, Ray Russ. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I know. It's like a movie. <laughs> Ray Russ. Yeah. Directed by Ray Russ. Featured Ray Russ. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah. a movie about like sprint car racing. That is really, I didn't think of that, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything else, guys? Any other sports? I guess not. Mm. Well, hi, I was Elliot. thinking of, go ahead. Hi everyone. Hi. Oh, hey Elliot. How you guys doing? Hi. Hi. Hey, doing hey, Elliot, good. what's on your arm? <laughs> I'm I'm cooking. Uh, just uh, on a, uh, I'm just cooking breakfast. I just wanted to pop in and say hi. I thought I heard someone cool. talk about racing over here. I love racing. <laughs> I love watching the stock cars from NASCAR and the F1 uh, and. Uh, you know, it's good stuff. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys are into rally racing. Oh, yeah. Rally racing. Yes. That's my favorite right there. Rally racing yes. and about touring that. cars. Definitely. Those are some yeah. of my favorites. Well, I better let you all get back to what you were doing. So, and I got to get back to the kitchen. So, I'll see you all yeah, later. Yeah, don't right? burn your food. Yeah. All right. Bye <laughs> yeah. right. bye, bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Rally racing is super fun to watch. It is. It so is. It's crazy. Especially when they drift. That still amazes me and astonishes me how they, like, drift like that. Go ahead, Andrew. Uh, Sam says something in the chat. Uh, sports game you like to play with your family outside. Um, what is it? Is it horseshoes? How do you play it? Tossing. How do you play it, Sam? Cornhole? Is that the, that's the name of the sport I'm thinking of? Okay, I'm just going to go out and say it. Um, electric cars are better for racing because they have better acceleration and everything like that. Okay. You're probably right about that. It's my opinion. Some people might disagree. For example, the Tesla is roadster. They, that thing can accelerate really fast. Teslas are really amazing. Yeah. Especially oh, when uh, you don't use a ball, looks like. That's what just hammered shit. Sam said, excuse me. Oh, um, oh okay. Um, do you said, throw something? This. Oh, yes. frisbee, trackball. You said she says oh, it's badminton. like tennis. Badminton. Oh yeah, I love badminton. That's fun. Yeah, it's super fun. <laughs> Do you guys play that all the time, Sam, or just sometimes? Sometimes we play it, not all the time. Yeah, because you can't let it touch the ground. That's the hard part. You have to be really on it. Ah, uh, you gotta yeah. stay on it. Make sure it never lands. That's not cool. At least tennis, you can let it bounce one time. Right. Yeah. No. It's interesting. Have if you've ever seen. Oh man, badminton's hard. Yeah. Like, oh my goodness. It's not easy. Not at all. Especially when they hit it in somewhere where you're not standing. <laughs> you have to <laughs> like run over. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. 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 But badminton is a little – you have a little bit more time to get to the birdie than you do getting to the tennis ball. Because it's, oh, it's a little okay. bit slower going. Yeah. 
Because if you think of it, the tennis ball is a lot faster than the birdie. Yeah. Because the birdie has a um, shake to it, which will kind of parachute yeah. it down. <laughs> yeah. Wind resistance it has air resistance, so it's right. sl- Thank you. slower. Yeah. I was trying to think of the right word. I'm like, uh. <laughs> what is this? Reminds me of the we talked about the Robin Hood um, Disney film when they were playing badminton. Oh yeah! Oh. <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was a really funny scene. I enjoyed that. Yeah. <laughs> Any other sport? Um, it's hmm. not. How about track and field? Oh, uh, track and field. Track and field's hard. Especially- not when you're in RTC for a full three years. Oh my goodness. Still though, you gotta have a lot of stamina. The hurdles True. kill. <laughs> the hurdles kill. My goodness. <laughs> It was bad. I, I, tried that. <laughs> I tried yeah. to do track and field, and I like messed up like five other people because I tripped over a hurdle. Yeah, and you can really get messed up jumping over hurdles. <laughs> My goodness. Unless you calculate it right, you jump over it. Yeah. yeah. Which I'm pretty good at calculating stuff. Once you get it down, you know, it's not a big deal. But if you. If you hit that hurdle, you can get your legs really uh, tangled up in it. Oh, Mm. yeah, definitely. Yeah. I don't like that feeling at all. Yeah. What about boxing, guys? Like, boxing is one of my all-time favorite sports. I think I'm pretty fun to watch once in a while. Oh, UFC. UFC. Yeah, that's really hard. Boxing, they say, is the most – you have to have the most endurance to box. Mm. Definitely. Stu, are you trying to say Cause... something? I can't really hear you since you're muted. And then this UFC. UFC is kind of hard, too. Mm-hmm. UFC is extremely hard. UFC is extremely brutal, too. You have to be um, conditioned. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm. Oh, and wrestling. Wrestling, oh. I don't want to ever want to try wrestling or football. I heard that what they put on TV isn't the real thing. Really? I don't know, that's just what I heard. Depends on what wrestling you're talking about. Oh. If you're talking about the WWC, or I don't know what acronym it is now. I think it's the WWE. Yeah. I guess it's WWE. It's, you know... It's scripted, but it's physically demanding. I mean, they are still doing really uh, hard things. Even if it's scripted, it's still pretty demanding. Yeah, have you seen them do their jump? Oh, that thing hurts. Stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, that's really physically demanding. It's like, oh! Yeah, no, that, that looks like it hurts. Yeah. It's like... It's like that one scene in Spider-Man when Spider-Man had to wrestle that one dude. Oh, um, that was Macho Man, pretty savage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think his name was Bone, something Bone, bone something. Ah. Well, bone Saw, yeah. <laughs> bone Saw, yeah. I'm a big Spider-Man fan. Yeah. All of them. Um, Even the amazing ones. Oh yeah, no, I've seen the amazing ones. I've seen the original three with to- uh, Tobey Maguire. I've seen Into the Spy Verse, and I've seen both of the Tom Holland uh, Spider-Man Homecoming and the one after that. Far from Home. Far from Home. Yes, I've seen all of them. What about the animated series? The oh, the animated series. Uh, I've seen partial, uh, partially of them, but I'm still working on them. Is this just something about Spider-Man that's just so appealing to me? You love him so much, you should read the original comics. Oh, heck yeah, man. I'm going to go. Yeah, I got to do that. I'm going to do that, definitely. Hey, did you guys read Sam's comment that she's got two cousins on WWE? 
Huh. Yeah. Damn, wow. Because it's on WWE. Oh my. Who are your God. cousins? Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. go Sam's cousins. Sam, <laughs> type in your cousins and chat. Kick some butt, for us. <laughs> what? I said, kick some butt for us. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. <clears throat> For product search. Yeah, product search. <laughs> well, that was very enthusiastic. Uh, God. <clears throat> Let's go, project search! There you go, that's better. <clears throat> Ugh, I'm going to get some water after that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, lacrosse? <sighs> Has it? Has anybody heard of lacrosse? I haven't heard of lacrosse. Lacrosse? What about you, John? Have you heard of lacrosse? Mm-hmm. Have I heard of lacrosse? Yeah. 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 Basically, the way I look at it, it's pretty much field hockey. It's like I think that's another yeah. where it's field hockey. I had a friend that was on a professional team. It kind of looks I didn't know they had professional lacrosse teams, but I guess they do. Lacrosse actually looks pretty fun because you're running around with this like weird <laughs> net thing on a long pole. And then you go, oh! Yeah. And then you like get it into the little net. <laughs> it's basically another version of soccer combined with uh, hockey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually pretty interesting. Yeah. Oh, Devin, and- go ahead. We are running out of time. Yeah, I was just going to say this. We are out of time. Yeah. Same. Okay. All right. Good job, Devin, keeping us on track. All right, Al. That hey, was I was cool. just about to say what he said, so. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Um, Good job, okay. everyone. Uh, John, do we have a staff meeting at 11.30 today? Yeah, we do. Okay. Okay, we'll see Finger. everybody later. All yeah. right. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, see you guys. Yvonne. Bye. 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 Yeah. Yvonne went to Good staff meeting. Good job, everybody. Neil or Nathan. Oh, Hey, Jamala.